So I've got my metal plate going on. Yeah. I believe it's uh, I believe it's time. It's a little after five. And I'd like to welcome, I'd like to welcome everybody tonight, and I'm glad to see you. Happy New Year, everybody. God is gracious with another one in this beautiful America. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start off with a prayer. And once I finish the prayer, we'll stand up and face the flag and do our pledge of allegiance. Y'all join me in prayer, please. Dear Father, we thank you for this opportunity to gather together to, to serve our community, to serve our friends, our country. Father, we thank you for this great country that you've blessed us with. Thank you, Father, for those that have fought over the years. And thank you for those that are fighting right now to keep this country free and other countries like us free. Father, bring them home safely, those that are at war right now as we speak. As we sit here in this free meeting room, uh, we've, got, we've got Americans fighting right now. Father, be with them, and not only with them, but with their families and this country. Now, Father, lead us and guide us in each and everything that we do, and please bless this meeting tonight. In Jesus' sweet and holy name we pray. Amen. 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 Facilities also. 
So what this amounts to is a, uh, a savings in interest on debt to the city of Tifton of $3.4 million, $838,000 rebates in the outsourcing, and the total principal payoff of $6.2 million in principal in the past three years. I think we deserve a hand. <laughs> First Community Bank's not here tonight. Uh, Mike Davis was going to come and receive this check. Actually, they got the check about noon today. Uh, but we're so proud of paying off city money debt that we wanted to have an official big payoff check. That's and that's the great. Turn it up, turn it up. <laughs> that's the payoff. Hey, we were upside down for a while. That's Amen. <laughs> but this is city net debt payoff, Mayor, just like you wanted. That's what it's for. Thank you, brother. It's Thank you. We're out of debt. We really want to thank First Community Bank. They came through when we were in a crunch. Six million dollars in loans, and uh, they've been a really good partner for the city of Tilton. Yeah, that thing was here when I got here, and here when all four of these people got here. It's, a, but it's, it's gone now. It is gone now. We thank you, Larry. Thank, you. thank everybody. Guys. Thank you very much. That little finance. Mr. Harris. Right Mr. Harris. Do they let you leave? You saw that check, did you? Yeah, can I have it? <laughs> no, I didn't want. I want you to see it. Yeah. Pretty. All right. All That's right. good. We like it when good things happen in our community. <clears throat> Praise God for it. Now, Mr. Attorney, I'll join you down there. I think we have something to do, don't we? We have to swear in our new uh, municipal court judge. All right. We're gonna swear at him or swear him in? We're gonna swear at him and then we'll swear him in. <laughs> Better swear at me first. <laughs> oh, won't you go over there? And you can set that down. That would be wonderful since this is general. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, good. We got his name wrong right off the bat. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, if you would, raise your right hand, please. Do you, Chad Van Norman? Swear and affirm that you are a citizen of the city of Tifton, Georgia, and being a public official of the city of Tifton and recipient of public funds for services rendered, do we hereby solemnly swear and affirm that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of Georgia, and the charter of the city of Tifton, that you will duly and faithfully perform your duties as judge in the municipal court for the city of Tifton. You are not the holder of any unaccounted for public money through this state or any polit political subdivision or authority thereof. You are not the holder of any office of trust under the government of the United States, any other state, or any foreign state which by the laws of the state of Georgia you are prohibited from holding, and are otherwise qualified to hold said office according to the Constitution and the laws of Georgia. I do. Ethan, he's six. He's very shy. Okay, he not. This is my wife, Amy. She is actually, uh, she's formerly Amy Brooks. Her grandfather started Brooks Body Shop, or used to be Brooks Gas Station. Oh, yeah. Across from yeah, First yeah. Baptist Church. That's right. So she's, she's Girl, from she Tifton. Very young. Very young. <laughs> About his age. <laughs> yeah. And we have two girls, uh, five, five and a half months old twins, but we didn't want to bring them, but we'd shut the place down. So. Right. We're doing everyone a favor by arranging child care for that. Uh, welcome. Welcome. Thank well, thank you, everyone. We greatly appreciate the opportunity. Yep. Thank you, sir. Have a good evening. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you. All right. Our first uh, order of business here is the approval of the capital agenda. Make a motion to approve the agenda as presented. Second. Have a motion. Have a second. Any further discussion? All in favor, please sit about raise your right hand saying aye. 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 That's you now.
Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. You can still do it. It's not a problem. Yeah. Um, we have real point, and then we have the real point. Yeah. Somebody wants Just, uh, just approve the agenda uh, on what he did. <coughs> can, can we do that? We didn't have this whole thing. No. No, I think, you know, since it's just the board appointments, I think it'd be fine to go ahead and proceed with those tonight. Okay. Do you want to just amend the yeah. agenda? I mean, we just need a motion to amend it as that, just so everybody's comfortable with that. Yeah, we can I, th I think you could do that. Just yeah, but Ron, give me I'm the, sorry, I'd like to formally request that they be added. Go ahead and request it. I'd like to formally request it to um, add the um, appointment of the Zoning Board of Appeals member. I'll make a motion that yeah, we amend the agenda to include that cool. item. Second. Second. I apologize, gentlemen. All in favor, say by right hand saying aye. 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 Me up front, please. <coughs> we do it just a little bit different than the, uh, than the legal labels do it. We do it nonetheless. You don't have to raise your hand until we get to the end of it. Uh, I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully and impartially perform the duties as a member of the Board of, uh, Board of Appeals. Zoning Board of Appeals. Zoning Board of Appeals. Zoning Board of Appeals of this city and that I will support and defend the charter of the city of Tiffin as well as the Constitution and laws of the state of Georgia and the United States of America. I shall attend all meetings of the body to which I have been appointed under the providential tender. I shall abide by the standards for conflicts of interest adopted by the city council and the rules of disclosure out of the fourth of Unless disqualified by the standards for conflicts of interest, I shall actively participate in all decisions of the body to which I have been appointed. I shall attend at city expense any training mandated by the state of Georgia. I shall also attend, as scheduled, any special training arranged by the city of Tiffany. And if you'll raise your right hand, sir, and just say, I do. I do. And welcome aboard. Okay. Thank you. Thank I can even see Bubba back there. You just heard me call his name. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> All right, we've got some uh, items here on consent agenda, and uh, generally, no, no, that's just resolution. Why is consent agenda? We don't have any consent items. We don't do that. No, sir. I just saw it sitting there. All right, we'll start with the resolutions. Item number two, Rob. Uh, Mayor, as you are aware, in council, we just issued some tax exempt bonds uh, for the latter part of the year, the very end of the year. One of the suggestions uh, of bond council is to uh, go along with IRS recommendations to adopt policies and procedures uh, for post compliance issuance of the bonds. It's not something that's required by the IRS, but it's recommended. Uh, basically, it keeps your finger on the pulse to make sure that you're in compliance after you've issued the bonds. Uh, some of the things that you'll see that's in the resolution, it you know, provides for due diligence for review at inter uh, regular intervals, I think it's annually. Uh, identifying an official who will be the compliance officer, which is going to be your uh, finance director. It also provides for training responsibilities once your finance director uh, through your post issuance compliance officer leaves, it provides for required training of someone who's going to take their place, and also provides for, you know, anybody gets a letter uh, from the IRS that, you know, bond counsel or I would be immediately notified of any issues. So basically this is, goes a little bit beyond your tax certificate requirements uh, as far as, you know, keeping your eye on what's going on with your bonds, making sure you're in compliance. And so by recommendation bond counsel, I think it's a good idea to go ahead and abide by the IRS recommendations that we adopt these policies and procedures. Uh, you know, in the event there's ever any inquiry about, you know, how our bonds are working, are they performing, are we in compliance, the IRS will ask us if we have these policies and procedures, and it would be a good idea to let them know that we do. So that's basically this resolution is nothing more than uh, ensuring that we have ongoing compliance and our finger on the pulse as far as these, these bond issues. Okay. And when you vote on that, sir? Yes. When you vote on that. <clears throat> okay, I make a motion to uh, provide for the post insurance compliance. I second. Would that be issuance, uh, post issuance compliance. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, please sit up and raise your right hand saying aye. Uh -huh. uh, that's unanimous, Mr. Ron. Item three, Larry, that's the resolution authorizing the award of service weapons to employees of the Tipton Police Department upon retirement. Yes, sir. <clears throat> the resolution before you in the about third paragraph stipulates the uh, conditions upon which a retiring police officer can receive their service weapon uh, and continue to, to utilize that weapon. Uh, if, if they so see fit, you know. Uh, but they have to have 25 years of service with the department before they can receive the service weapon. That would be the recommendation of, of staff and the recommendation from the police department. Uh, we've done this before, uh, but we didn't do it in the form of re a resolution. We had a letter. If we adopt this resolution, then that would become city policy and police officers, officers who aren't really served for 25 years would then be entitled to retire their service weapon as well. Okay. I'll accept the motion. I make the motion that we uh, authorize the um, resolution for the service weapons to go with the employees after 25 years. I'll second that. Well, I got a motion to second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, please send it up, raise your right hand, saying aye. 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 Uh, Question. Yes, sir. Uh, you said we're going to retire. Would, would the officer, the uh, police yeah. officer that get the weapon, be re uh, required to get a license for, for it? If, if they're going to continue to carry a weapon, I, yeah. I'll refer that to the police department. If he wants to carry it in public, you don't have to have a license to keep it at home. I mean, that's what I'm saying. But if he, if, if he carried it in public, he'd have to have a license, right? I had looked at the law, but I was thinking <clears throat> that retired police officers have exemptions in that, just like just like current police officers do. I can look at that. Okay. Yeah. Ask them to check. I, I'm not sure about that, Johnny, but I think 
My, my gut tells me they do, but there may be an exception to that. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. I'm ready. Okay, the board of voting order. So uh, we move to item number four, which Larry, do you need to say? No, I'm ready. Yeah, the re resident of the city manager executed a memorandum of understanding between Tiff County and the city of Tiffin Staff Development Company and the Tiff County Development Authority for expansion and relocation of Hunt Road. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's <laughs> the resolution before you. Because I don't have really good eyes. This is a uh, basically an agreement between Tiff County, City of Tipton, uh, Staff of Development, and who did I forget? The Develop Tiff County Development Authority uh, to make some road and road relocations. Uh, I don't know for years now we've been trying to tie Hunt Road into Carpenter Road, and this opportunity came. Uh, that, and, and we're going to be able to get some financial assistance from three other, four other entities other than Tiff County. Uh, GDOT is going to kick in uh, $185,000, and each of the other entities will contribute $125,000. This is for the re relocation of Hunt Road. Uh, when you come off of 82 going north on Hunt Road, uh, right there beside that stuff development property, it was a uh, part of the old. Uh, Place. Yeah, and this is this relocation of this road will allow us to put in a development that's coming and uh, uh, be able to address traffic issues and safety issues on three on 82 as well as uh, rerouting Hunt Road so that it can tie into Carpenter Road and relieve some of the traffic at the intersection of Carpenter Road and Highway 82. It's a good deal. That's a good project. I'm glad we got these other three that like, all four of them to join with us. <laughs> it's really good. It's all about economic development. That's exactly right. Well, uh, and the, the uh, obligation from the city of Tipton and three others says $125,000. Okay. Uh, I'll accept the motion. I'll move to accept item number four. I'll second. I got a motion second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, please sit down and raise your right hand saying aye. 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 That's your hand, Mr. Strong. <coughs> Item number five, resolution authorizing the city manager to exchange real property for public road purposes. In order to accomplish this project that we just talked about, the agreement, yeah. we're going to exchange property with uh, 82 West LLC and the city of Tipton. The city of Tipton currently owns the Hunt Road. Uh, through which this property is going to be developed. And so they are going to give us the right of way to, to relocate the road uh, to tie it back into basically Larkin Road over on Carpenter Road. And that's what we already have the deeds, and that's what authorizes me to do that. Thank you, Larry. Come So moved. Have a motion? Second. Second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, please sit on your right hand, saying aye. 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 That's you now. Item number six, resolution providing for alcoholic beverage license for Main Street, Inc., DBA, <coughs> Main Street Beverage, located at 1310 South Main Street. Ms. Rowan. Yes, this resolution was presented to you in October uh, for a property that used to be known as Big Gems. It's two pieces, actually. They have a laundromat there. And I explained to you all that the gentleman uh, had considerable work that he had to do. Um, the time for him to obtain the alcohol license did expire. From the time it's approved, you have 30 days to actually pick up the alcohol license. And he did not do that. He still had a few things to do. So he is reapplying. He has to go through the process again. Um, and he does anticipate having that, those items completed within the 30-day time frame that he's going to be allowed. Um, there again, I did not rerun the background check. I did it in September. Everything was clean on him. So, you know, we're still recommending approval. Um, and he has completed all of his requirements with the exception of one, and I'm not recalling it right off the top of my head. So uh, he's pretty well satisfied, most of staff, with the exception of one item. And he will not get his license until that item is taken care of. So do we need to make our motion contingent upon? Um, that's up to you. He will not get his business license until that is satisfied. 
But we've already voted and approved it once, right? We did, but it expired. Okay. Once it expires, it has to be brought back to council. So that's the one that's before you now. Whatever makes you feel the most comfortable, you can do. Uh, I make a motion uh, for provide for alcoholic beverage contingent on being law requirements for Main Street. Uh, incorporated DBA Main Street Beverage located at 1310 South Main Street. Second. I have a motion to second in further discussion. Seeing none, all in favor, please sit up and raise your right hand and say aye. 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 That's unanimous. And Ms. Ronnie, if you'll speak to number seven, it's really providing for alcohol beverage license for Candy Stop, located 207 West 12th Street. We expect Candy Stop to be under new ownership in a very short time. Um, we have a the applicant, we've run the background check on if it's a partnership, um, a good record with both of those folks, and the staff is recommending approval of this. This is for beer and wine. Okay, I make a motion to approve item number seven. Second. I got a motion to second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, please sit up our right, right hand saying aye. 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 That is unanimous. Okay, item number eight is um, I need a motion to set the qualifying fees for the 2015 elections. So moved. Well, now, Ms. Brown, that would be three of us. That would be a conflict of interest if we said that. <laughs> three of us have to You got to do it. <laughs> so moved. <laughs> How about that, Mr. Turner? That's yeah, the way it is, bro. Yeah. The, the qualifying, fee, fee, the qualifying fee for mayor is 288. Oh, Council God. Districts 2 and 4 is 207. That's an increase for now. <laughs> that is yeah. a little bit of an increase. So moved. That's pretty good. Sure, was I'll second that. Right. that. <laughs> All right. We're good, Johnny. Yeah, we're straight. <laughs> All right. Can we get a motion? I, I just moved. He did. He just Johnny did. I'm going to Okay. Uh, <laughs> Johnny, Johnny did the motion. Yeah, Wes did the second. <laughs> Wes did the second. They're really cracking up over here. Yeah, they're having way too much Well, we've this. got a motion and a second. <laughs> Do I have any further discussion? We can all five vote on this, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, all in favor, please sit in my room right here and say aye. 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 It didn't, yeah. it didn't make this. We, we voted it out. <laughs> yeah. It'd be $2.88. Oh, no. well, well, just for your information, qualifying will be um, the last week of August. Uh, actually, August 31st through September the 4th. The election itself will be November 3rd. So you, you got that much time to save up your money so you can <laughs> 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 Hey, Wes, that feel good, huh? It feels good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Y'all come up with another two years, though, That's yeah. right. Yeah, exactly. Now, we right. got, so we can save our money. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That'd be good. Yeah. That'd but be good luck, uh, gentlemen and ladies. <laughs> it rolls around quickly, doesn't it? Yes. See, see, see when, you, when, hey. you, when you're the senior, Remember on the council board, you can say stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, it doesn't come around as quick as that two years for congressmen and for, and for state senators. Two yeah. years, every two years they got to run. Mm -hmm. Now that needs to be changed. We need to, somebody needs to, I've talked to several people about that. That's hey, I don't think that's on the agenda. <laughs> no, I don't mean yeah. up tonight. I'll be glad to look into that. Our, our country and our, and our state needs to change. That's, that's way too much, that's way too much running. Rob's going to buy a bigger meter, you know. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, y'all, let's see. We have we have set the, the gauntlet now. Uh, we, we're going to get out of here in almost 30 minutes. I want y'all to know. Rona, Larry, anybody else have anything to do with it? We'll expect this in the future. <laughs> There'll be 11 more Monday nights in this year. And uh, y'all don't y'all drink. Oh, we expect a 30 minute meeting every time. And before our workshops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Really call me, yeah. Uh, question. Are we go when are we gonna get back to the mine? You got any? Uh we're shooting for one February. One? First week of February. 
birthday. Okay. Have a good birthday present. They're still doing some painting in there, and uh, we have a little bit of homework we have to do for ourselves. But we'll go back first meeting, first, first February first meeting, we're gonna be there. Try. The first council meeting in February. I would love to have it. What you said? <clears throat> That sounds good. This was a good meeting. We appreciate y'all. We're looking for another great, great year in our community. Thank all y'all for coming. This meeting is adjourned. Uh, so, what, what, what do you want to say?